This segment is brought to you in part by the OLCC and for No Ricard USA. You know, it's a busy time of year for high schoolers. Uh, there's prom, there's graduation to celebrate, but it's also a good opportunity for parents to reinforce the rules, especially when it comes to underage drinking. According to one study, 74% of teens aged 13 to 17 say their parents are the number one influence on their decisions about whether or not to drink. So joining me right now is Shannon Hoffeditz, and thank you. You've been sitting here for a while. <laughs> I talked to you that, but thanks for being here. She's with the Oregon Liquor Control Commission, and uh, we have some tips we're gonna talk about for parents, and I mean, I am a parent of, of teenage kids, and so this is very important things. Uh, first of all, you need to do what as far as rules are concerned. It's very good to communicate. You mm -hmm. want to set clear expectations with your teens about not drinking. Communicate with them. If you come from a split household, which many teens are these days, make sure that both families are on the same page. Both parents are on the same, yeah, thing. And, and the rule is no drinking. It's not like, well, you know, if you do this, you do that. But sit, nice, clear rules. Now, another thing you need to kind of keep in mind is if you're hosting something at your house and the kids are all involved there, you, you should probably not have any alcohol around? Absolutely not. You don't want to set yourself up. You don't want to set a bad example for the children. It's against the law to provide alcohol mm -hmm. to, to teens. And you don't want to set yourself up for failure, in other words. For yeah. failure or for any type of third-party liability suit, if those children consume alcohol and go off and hurt themselves or somebody else. Then you're in all kinds of trouble, and it just it, it goes on from there. Now, if you do have some alcohol in your house, is it a good idea to maybe kind of, if you're going to be out of town or something, keep track of how much you have before you leave? Take an inventory. Know, make sure your kids know the expectations and take an inventory and know that they know what the consequences will be if something is missing right. or if something bad happens right. while they're Exactly. While you're now, if the kids are going somewhere, and you know, of course, they're driving age and things of that nature, uh, other things to kind of keep in mind, you know, even as, as they stay sober, is just to stay safe in the car. Is that right? Absolutely. Be sure the kids buckle up. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're make sure you know who's with them, and make sure that they're buckled up and safe at all times. Now, I've heard of some people doing this, and it seems kind of crazy. I remember back when I was in high school, where the parents might rent like a hotel room or something for their kids. It, would you discourage that 100%? Absolutely. Again, you uh, rent a hotel room for your teens, and you're again you're setting yourself up for third-party liability and it's a violation of the law to provide a place for minors to consume so again you're setting yourself up now I know sometimes the kids the last person they want to listen to would be their parent um, is it a good idea to me to try to encourage other people to kind of back you up on your ideas absolutely again get step parents involved get rest of the family members involved and more importantly your kids friends yeah, oh yeah peer pressure positive peer pressure Absolutely. is what we need right there so Shannon thank you so much thank great you. advice